what's up? I'm Miley Cyrus from Hannah, Montana. And you are watching Disney Channel. How many of us wish that it was us doing that when we were kids? Come on, I know I'm not the only one who had Disney Channel completely taking over their life. What's up you guys? Welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. I'm your host Joss and if you don't know this about me yet, I am a huge Disney fan. Hang out with me until the end of this video and I'll do some comment shout outs. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. The Disney Channel was my muse in high school, which is why I'm so excited to get into today's video. Many children and childish adults like me dream of being on the Disney Channel and for many actors it was the thing that started their whole acting career. Let's find out what ended it for some of them with today's video, a top 10 Disney actors Hollywood won't hire anymore. Let's get started. Off our list at number 10 is Dylan Sprouse, who we all came to know and love in the Disney hit The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Or if you watch the TV show Friends, you would have known him as Ben, Ross's little son. After him and his twin brother Cole grew out of Disney Channel, they both went on to start their own acting careers as individuals. You can find his brother Cole in the hit TV series Riverdale, but you can't find Dylan in anything these days. Don't get me wrong, Dylan has been in the media over the years, but it hasn't been good attention. It started in 2013 when he dealt with the nude photo scandal. The leak of his nudes almost shut down the entire internet. The Disney star was seen by the world with his pants down, literally, when the pictures were leaked. He owned up to his actions and made humor of the situation by tweeting out sarcastic remarks like, whoops, guess I'm not 14 and fat anymore. His scandals continued, but his acting career didn't. In 2017, he was caught in a huge cheating scandal with his then girlfriend, Dana Frazier. She had posted a picture on her Instagram of her crying and the caption read, you find know your boyfriend cheated on you lol. The story blew up and Dylan tweeted his side to the story which only caused more negative attention on him. Ever since, he is still working in the acting industry, booking smaller roles and working on some short films. It's a shame we won't find him on the screen like his twin brother. At number 9 we have Mitchell Musso, best known as Miley Cyrus's best friend Oliver Oaken in the Disney show Hannah Montana. After Hannah Montana ended, he continued to do some other work on the Disney channel, but once he grew out of it, that's where his acting career quickly faded out. His career took a big hit because in 2011, while still filming with Disney, he was arrested in Burbank, California on October 16th. Apparently, he didn't slow down for a police officer who was directing traffic for an accident, which had Mitchell pulled over. That's when they found out that his blood alcohol level was higher than the legal limit. Not only that, but Musso was under the legal drinking age of 21, so any alcohol in his system would have been charged as illegal anyways. He was charged with a maximum of six months in jail and a thousand dollar fine for both misdemeanor counts. Some believe he should have been charged more since it was technically a DUI and he could have killed someone. He was released on $5,000 bail and returned back to court in November. He hasn't had much of a career ever since. He finished some work voicing on the show Phineas and Ferb back in 2014. Since then, between the years 2016 to 2018, he did voiceover work for three episodes on a TV show called Milo Murphy's Law. I've never heard of it. Have you? Taking over the number 8 spot is Annalise Vanderpool, known as her role as Chelsea Daniels on Disney's hit That's So Raven. I loved her on the show. I thought she was absolutely hilarious. And I always wondered what happened to her after the show ended. Well, apparently what happened was that in 2006 she was arrested for driving under the influence with a whopping blood alcohol level of 0.19, with the legal limit being 0.08. Yikes, there is no flirting your way out of that one. She was arrested on July 10th after after colliding with a parked car, which caused a domino effect in which she hit two additional vehicles as well. The police report states after hitting the parked vehicle, the defendant then lost control of her vehicle, traveled across the roadway, and finally collided with another vehicle. The court offered her 26 months probation and ordered her to pay $2,844 in fines and required her to attend and complete an alcohol education program. There was no way this wouldn't affect her career. Over the years, she continued working in the industry, but nothing 
in Hollywood that brought her to the big screen. She did return to Disney Channel with the spin off for That's So Raven as her returning character as Chelsea. So it looks like Disney is giving her a second chance, but she'll only ever be known for her one role. She has yet to make her mark in Hollywood. And in all honesty, they couldn't cast anyone else for her returning role because that just wouldn't make any sense. In at number seven, we have Ryan Merriman. He might be known for his starring role in the movie Final Destination 3. However, before that, he was a star on the Disney Channel. If you are a true Disney Channel fan, you would have seen him in the movies Smart House, The Luck of the Irish, and A Ring of Endless Light. But like the other Disney stars on this list, he also found himself in trouble with the law. Back in 2011, he was arrested in Newport Beach after police suspected he was driving under the influence. It seems to be a pattern with these celebrities and feeling the need to drive drunk. According to the reports that TMZ shared, he was originally pulled over because he didn't stop behind the line at a red light. Once the cops began talking to him, they suspected he wasn't sober. He was arrested and taken to a nearby police station where he spent the night in jail. It seems like spending some time in a jail cell was a wake up call for him because he hasn't been in trouble with the law ever since. During the arrest, he was filming some episodes for his supporting role on Pretty Little Liars. After his time on the show, he went on to book some short movies and pilot TV series, but nothing that was produced by Hollywood directors or any that made it to a big screen. His latest booking was in 2018, where he was the host for a game show called The Jurassic Games. It's nice to see him still pursuing acting, but it's a shame that his last major Hollywood booking was back in 2014, when his role on Pretty Little Liars ended. Up next at number six, we have Misha Barton. She's mostly known for her role on the TV series The OC, but it was the Disney Channel that threw her into the spotlight. At the age of 17, she took the lead role in the Disney Channel movie A Ring of Endless Light, same one our number six actor starred in as well. Most young girls would have killed for her place in the spotlight, but when she looks back on it, she says that that time took a turn for the worse. She claims her mentality at the time was work hard, play hard. She said she also felt intense pressure from her popularity and she could feel that she was headed towards a mental breakdown. Her successful acting career continued after she moved on from Disney and so did her partying. In 2007, she was arrested for a DUI and then two years later, she blacked out while taking a sedative and ended up in the Cedar sinai Medical Center psychiatric ward. The star began threatening suicide and couldn't handle all the criticism she was facing from the media. She took time to work on herself and also her career. After the OC, she went on to book some acting work, but nothing that you would probably know of. Her IMDb shows a long list of bookings, but they are all for small projects, short videos, or movies that never came out. Rumor has it we might see her face pop up in the MTV reality series The Hills New Beginnings. But she wasn't hired as an actor, she just so happens to hang around some of the other celebrities that are in the show. Halfway through our list at number 5 is Debbie Ryan. She first stole our hearts when she joined the Disney cast on The Sweet Life on Deck and became the newest Disney darling. She starred alongside the Sprouse twins until the series ended and she landed her own lead role in her own series called Jessie. For years she was holding that innocent and clean image that Disney had, but that went out the window when she got arrested. Back in 2016, TMZ reported that the 22 year old actress was driving in LA around 11 p.m. when she made a left turn and slammed into a Mercedes. The driver in the other car claims they got hurt, which caused cops to arrest Ryan for a felony DUI. Not just a DUI, a felony DUI. This broke the news, which completely shattered her Disney star reputation that everyone knew her for. Once the police found out the injury was minor, her charge was brought down to a misdemeanor. Her report also confirmed that her blood alcohol level was 0.11, which was over the legal limit, proving that she was in fact driving under the influence when she hit the other car. She was charged with two criminal offenses and tried to save her career by taking it to Twitter, apologizing for her actions and saying she hopes she can make things better. She booked a few short films in 2017 and was given another chance in 2018 where she worked on the Netflix series Insatiable. Turns out it didn't do so well and another season was not picked up. It received a whopping 12% on Rotten Tomatoes. Sliding into the number 4 spot is David Henry, best known for his role on the Disney show Wizards of Waverly Place, where he acted alongside Selena Gomez, playing her older brother. He has always presented himself in a mature and responsible manner, but I guess he is an actor. Fans were shocked when the news broke that Henry ended up in jail. It first started in 2010 when David and his younger brother Lorenzo were arrested and held at the jail for starting a domestic fight. Turns out what happened was that security guards had pinned his brother to the ground because he was acting out of control. David began yelling and acting aggressive towards the security guards who ended up throwing punches back and forth with him. The two 
Brothers were eventually released, and the Disney star faced a lot of heat from the industry and fans. His career never took off after that, and if he was going to make a comeback, he ruined it last year in 2018 when he was arrested once again for possession of a loaded gun. In September of 2017, he was arrested at 9.05 am at Terminal 2 in the LAX airport. TSA officers went through his bag and found the firearm, where he was then sent to the LAPD Pacific Division Jail. He was eventually released with his court date, where he will face charges for the loaded firearm. He took it to Twitter saying he unintentionally brought his gun, which he legally owns and is registered to his name. Now is not the time to be arrested having a gun. Not a good look. Alright guys, at number 3 we have Brian Bonsall, who you might recognize as the boy from Disney Channel's iconic movie Blank Check. It was the hilarious movie where his character was mistakenly given 1 million dollars and he goes on that epic kid shopping spree. We all envied him as kids, let's not pretend. His career took off and he ended up taking lead roles in the TV series Family Ties and also Star Trek The Next Generation. Most would say that he was on top of the world. Apparently that was all ending sooner than we all thought as he began turning to punk rock, partying and drugs by moving home to Colorado and attending school like a regular kid. On March 28th, 2007, he was first arrested on charges of assaulting his girlfriend. He was found guilty and sentenced to two years of probation on August 31st. Only two years later, he was arrested again. On December 7th, 2009, Budsall was arrested for third degree assault and failure to appear in connection with the 2007 assault with his other girlfriend. Just when you think it doesn't get any lower than that, in February 2010, he was arrested on charges for using marijuana in violation of the terms of his release. He was sentenced to another two years of probation in April. So I think it's safe to say he won't be making a comeback anytime soon with a record history like that. In at number two, we have Lelaine, who you might know as Hilary Duff's BFF in the Disney series Lizzie McGuire. The show skyrocketed the whole cast into fame and it appeared like the world was at their fingertips. However, not long after the show stopped airing, Lelaine completely vanished from the public eye. She didn't even appear in the big screen release of the Lizzie McGuire movie. She did an interview with Huffington Post where she refers to the years after Disney Channel as dark. She claimed she went nuts and made bad decisions, one of them which had her get arrested for the felony possession of crystal meth in 2008. Things got even worse for the young starlet as she was a no-show for her court date appearance. That's when the judge issued a $50,000 bench warrant for her arrest. Last we heard about the case was that she enrolled in the Asian American Drug Abuse Program. Her IMDb shows that she is now working on some smaller projects, but her record remains with a serious felony charge that she can't undo. Taking the number one spot on our list is Stoney Westmoreland in the Disney show Andy Mack. I think we often forget that not all Disney stars are kids. The young characters we all love have to have parents, teachers, and older influences in their lives, right? Well, that's where Westmoreland comes in as he plays the grandfather on the hit show. On December 15th, 2018, he was arrested for allegedly trying to have sex with a person he believed was just 13 years old. Keep in mind, he is 49 years old. While chatting with the teen online, Utah police say he sent pornographic photos to the minor and asked the teen to engage in sexual acts with him and also send nude photos. On his way over to meet the teen, he was in a ride sharing service where investigators say he planned to bring her to his hotel room, which is when the Salt Lake City Police Department and FBI Child Exploitation Task Force arrested him. He was charged with four counts that are all considered third degree. Felonies. Following his arrest, Disney Channel confirmed that his role in the show has been terminated. I don't think we'll be seeing him in Hollywood anytime soon. Alright, guys, that is all I got. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this list and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let's check out some comments from my last video Top 10 Actors Hollywood Won't Hire Anymore, Part 2. Shadows World says, I love that jacket, very pretty color. Where did you get it? Uh, I got that one at Ardennes or Ardeen's, however you say it. Ahmed Ahmed says, I was heartbroken when I found out Jocelyn had a boyfriend. Don't worry, still love you. Sorry. Elaine Hinton says, how about former blacklisted stars that made a comeback video? I actually really like that idea. Cecilia C says, how the mighty have fallen, but I still like Charlie Sheen. I mean, he's okay. I could personally live without him, but that's just me. All right, I'm taking off, guys. Don't forget to subscribe before you go if you haven't already. I'm your host, Joss. I will see you next time. Bye.